A ferrofluid is a fluid containing dispersed nanoscale magnetic particles. Now, what's that mean in English? It's a magnetic fluid. And today, we're going to show you how to make one. To start, you're going to need some laser jet toner, a rare earth magnet, and why not, some vegetable oil. Now the first thing we're going to do is pour the toner into a cup. We need about 50 milliliters of this. Go ahead, have a look. It's all there. Now we're going to put about two tablespoons of vegetable oil into that cup as well. You may need a little bit more than this. It depends on how much ink you used. Now comes the fun part. Stir it until you get a nice, thin consistency. If it's too thick, it might not work properly. Once we've got it all mixed up, we're going to transfer it into a little bit of a smaller jar here, just so we can handle it easier. Okay, now let's give it a test. I'm going to take the earth magnet and put it on the bottom. And as you can see, the liquid magnetizes. It makes these little needles that pop out. Now if you're not getting this effect, you may need a bit of a stronger magnet. You can check your hardware stores to buy rare earth magnets. They're not too expensive. Now we're going to slide that up to the top and let it hang down. Let's get a look from another angle. As you can see, the nodules are just hanging down from the top of the glass. If we pull off the magnet, they'll actually just fall right off. Take a look. Now I'm going to take my earth magnet and stick it under my table here. Once I know where the magnet is, I'm going to pour out a little bit of fluid. Let's get a closer look. As you can see, it instantly turned into what we had before. I'm going to pour a little bit more on here. Now you can touch it, you can spin it around. You can make all kinds of crazy art with this thing. Let's try and move it, shall we? I have my hand under the table and I'm moving around the magnet. And as you can see, I can draw with this. Let's try and make a letter. Much better than an Etch-a-Sketch. Now you can also move it around and then pull the magnet away and it'll turn into a liquid again immediately. And once you put it back, it pops right back up. Now this stuff is not clean, so make sure you have some napkins on hand and something to clean it all up with. Well, that's all for this week. Make sure you're subscribed so you can get the next episode.